might might look like somebody that watched porn all day long. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mike, why you why you sign your stuff in the galaxy? Why you put your name on it? <laughs> yeah, see if you can do like rename know, or something. Name, okay. Put cupcake uh, man. That's what you can put on there. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to GV TV. That's right, good vibes television. I am your boy, R.L. Moan. As long as Mr. in front of it, I'm good with it. And once again, for the 19th episode, I'm with my compadres, Mr. DJ PRS1. And the lovely Savvy E. And for the 19th episode, we have some guests with us, some uh, supporters who've been there since day one, and we wanted them to be a part of the 19th episode. We have Mr. Michael. What's up? Mm, 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 mm. Mr. Mark Little. What's going on? Miss Bertrand. Hello. And Tia is fine. <laughs> and the lovely Miss Shatasia. <laughs> So this show, we're just going to do a recap of the last 18 episodes. We're going to throw in some uh, latest topics, you know, uh, that's happened within the last week or so. Uh, Miss Savvy E. Um, yeah, I'm what? What's going on? How you doing? You're frozen. You're frozen. What's going on with your equipment again? No, I'm working on my phone. Okay. Okay. So we have our T-shirts on. Yes, we for this up. episode, PRS one <laughs> he he made his just now, not too long ago. So no, it's good to go. <laughs> it's good to go. It's good to go. So so so, um, recap of the season, uh, Miss Savvy, I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your thing. Ladies no. first, take us through. Well, you uh, you're not gonna say anything. No, let um, DJ, because I'm trying to fix my phone up here, so I'm not really concentrating right now. Okay, PRS one. Well, we about to introduce you all to some of our uh, our guests. We got um, Mikey here. You know, uh, he's been on our face. This, these are most of our Facebook, our, our diligent Facebook followers. Um, we invited them on the show, you know, to be a part of this episode um, because they they have the most interesting comments, the most funniest comments, um, the most educational comments, um, and we just wanted them to be a part of the show with us today. So. Um, you know, we got Mr. Mikey. You can tell us a little bit about what you do, Mike McCoy. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> For eight hours, I sleep. And watch Facebook. <laughs> Follow Good Vibes TV. <laughs> All right. That's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does. He the other the, there's three things. Must be nice. You know, he's the cake man, also. Yeah, I make a little cupcakes, cakes. I make sure that everybody, I make sure everybody gets to where they go when they come over to the Wilma building. Watch yeah, corn hog. Pretty much. <laughs> Even have to run some homeless people out the way, get out as you gotta go. Lord have I can see where this is going. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, you know, as 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 we say, you know, let's have a conversation. What? You guys, you know, being, being, you know, I guess, followers of the show, um, this is your chance to, I guess, criticize, I guess, um, or, you know, c commend, or even um, what has been some of your favorite episodes? What were what, what some of the things you like, some of the topics, uh, some of the topics you guys would think you'd like us to address, you know, stuff like that? This, this is the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Betrayan, you've always come up with good, good, you know, good suggestions and stuff. Yeah, what do you think of the show so far? Give, give us your opinion well, on the show. I, I really like it. You know, I just, I love things like this, you know, where people can get together and, you know, just discuss things. I know that um, one thing that I do like uh, watching the three of you guys, you know, you guys, you know, might you know crack jokes on each other but at the end of the day you guys respect each other so much and i really like that um somebody thank you thank you thank you appreciate it <laughs> <that. laughs> 
I just, I love Miss Shatasia. Huh? Oh, Lord. You've had some, uh, uh, very... I like her already. She's funny. <laughs> yeah. She's a who? What are your thoughts on the show this, uh, this season, Miss uh, Shatasia? Um, well, I'm glad you asked. So, um, the Puerto We're Rico going to a short guy, commercial break. We need to go. The who? The Puerto Rican one. He need to that, go. Who Puerto Rican one? What are you talking about? <laughs> why, why I need to Landon. go? <laughs> Wait, which one of the Puerto Rican ones? <laughs> Lindsay. Ram- <laughs> oh, what's next? Oh, he need to go. Oh, my God. Because every week he got something ignorant to say. I'm waiting for him today. <laughs> you, time, you, got, you got time today, huh, sis? I got time. I ain't got n- Look, Nothing, but time. Nothing but time. <laughs> mm. Mm-mm. It's, it's just a matter of time before I say something, Mr. Davis. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Mr. R. Mm. Mr. Mark Little, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? Brother, you like you up there uh, constructing the Emancipation Proclamation. There's something going on. <laughs> I wish. I wish. Now, you know, I'm a still- brand new one. A brand new one. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, I'm in school, so I'm still doing homework and trying to maintain. What 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 have uh, intrigued you about the show this last or this this last season, which happened to be our first season? So, the last couple of them have been interesting. Um, the one that I really and you've done this before about church and marriage um, and the Bible. Um, that was interesting. And you know my, my, my point of view on that. Um, it's on what you believe, but at the end of the day, the Bible was written by man. So man could have put his own words and his own rules into that Bible, but it's up to you to believe in what you want to believe. Um, whole thing about marriage and cheating, um, all your topics have been pretty good. I've enjoyed all of them. I know when I made the comment, um, how did I say it? Um, dang, I can't even remember it. But you, you guys made a comment, and I was married like 20 years. I've been with my wife for 20 years. You guys, yeah. it's like, it's like, uh, do you believe him? I don't know if you ever, if anybody ever said yes, and I never cheated. I don't know if anybody ever said yes, but that, that was an interesting topic. So. Everything's been pretty good. Uh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know what? Oh my goodness! Uh, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned the marriage and never cheated because I got to talk about Jada Pinkett. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> oh, I was waiting for the red table. Ah. I got to talk Word about word of the Jada. year entanglement. She, she didn't cheat. She was in an entanglement. She's in an entanglement. <laughs> yeah. Let me, th- you know, I'm going to tell you what, the fucked up thing is, if Will Smith, w- if a black man would have said, no, 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 it was an entanglement, we would, I mean, she's getting dogged. She's getting dogged and rightfully so. She should be. But they would have executed a man for saying some shit like that, because that was some <laughs> stupid shit. Just say out your mouth. That was, it was irresponsible. It was reckless. And um, it shows the, it, it, to me, it just showed how little respect she had for her husband. Exactly. Right, so, also, so, I would have rather she said it's complicated rather than an entanglement. You know, to me, well, that my makes thing is, sense. My, my thing is, so it's it's not okay to have an affair, <laughs> but you can have an entanglement. Right. <laughs> See, that, that's <laughs> I'm not going to come to yeah, just call it what it is, I guess. You know, just call it what it is. So you got to say that a couple of things. She had more love for Tupac than she did for Will. She admits having love and ex- eternal love for Tupac. So right there, you know, there's love for Will, but it's not that love that she had for Tupac. So there could have been some playing if it wasn't as strong if it was with Tupac. That, that I have, young boy. I have always had an issue with the circumstances surrounding how they got together. 
and I kind of blame Will for that, for the simple fact that he didn't close that first door without, mm -hmm. you know, before walking into the door with Jada. Mm -hmm. You know, he was literally still married to his first wife when, you know, he got started with her. And I remember watching an episode of her show, The Red Table or whatever, where she had a sit down and he talked with the first wife and how they sort of almost butted heads and came to a fist of cuffs over, you know, him. And I'm like, and he's just, and he just sat there and just let that happen. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with you. Are you, are you speaking on, um, them on the red, um, the red table talk because I watched that. I didn't, I didn't see that at all. No, yeah, she, no, that was an old she, episode. That was an old. Yeah, she about. sat down. Oh, okay. Her and Sheree, you know, had a had a conversation about you know the circumstances surrounding her and Will getting together, and she said it was one instance where Sheree had called Will, and I guess it was in reference to their son, and Jada answered the phone. Mm -hmm. And she, they had an exchange of words, and Cherie said to her, "Bitch, you living in a house that I picked out." And then Jada mm. said, "Yeah, that's what she said." I did remember that. Yeah, too. and then Jada said to her, "It's my house now," and she hung up the phone. Ooh. And then mm. Will, just being solid as could be, just sat there. I think he just he could have been a little bit more, I guess, diplomatic about that. You know, that was uh, that was a cause of him not closing that door before he opened this other one. I blame him 100% for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. His because they shouldn't have never had life. that conversation. That first meeting shouldn't have never went like that. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. I, I pride myself in that. I've never had, uh, my, my wife has never had a clash with my son's mother or my daughter's mother. I got two baby mamas. My wife will tell you, I she's never had a class. What? They have never, like, came out of pocket and attacked her. It's always been, if we want to have a conversation, we need to go somewhere and talk. We might go cuss each other out, yell and scream at each other. But there's never been in front of my wife, and they have never right. thought to, you know, bring, try to include her into it. You know, as a man, it is your responsibility, especially if, and you know, I, I, I'm guilty of it, especially if you loving them and leaving them. And now you got to deal with them because you got a responsibility with them. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. make sure you cut ties that you, you, you set to say, look, this is, this is how it is. This is where it's at. I'm moving on. You can do what you want to do, but going forward, whatever I have in my household, that's mine. I'm going to protect them. They're off limits. That's what we need to do as men. And a lot of men, they do not do it for one. A lot of men, you know, it take a while. You can leave your woman, your your ex, but you still fucking your ex, or you didn't leave her the way that you telling your new woman. Mm. Right. So you you telling your new woman, oh, it's been over, it's been over, and in all actuality, it wasn't over. You were still having your old woman thinking y'all was gonna work it out. You probably still sleeping with her. You still, you know, yeah, I do love you. Saying shit you had no business saying to her. A lot of men do that shit instead of just. Yo, it's over. It is what it is. Move on. Right. Try to have it, you know, uh, the cake and eat it too, so to say. When it comes to your relationship, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you see a lot of those. Yeah. And now uh, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you on that one, Moan. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't have any incidents. I mean, my ex-wife and I have been, it's been rough. You know, it's, I've had, she's been, I've, I've, I've called her evil. You know, but I've never, they've never, they have never, you know, bumped heads or anything like that. They, you know, the one time I ever saw my ex-wife approach my wife in an aggressive manner, I was, I, I was about to get involved. And, but the only thing she told her was, um, Hey, this is my baby. Make sure you're taking care of my baby. And that's all she told, you know, my, my, my wife, Pam. And because she came, she pulled up with the car, the car left the car door open, walked straight up to my ex, to, to, to my wife. And I was like, oh, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on? I was picking my daughter up. And my daughter was going to stay with us for a while, I go to school and all that stuff. And she jumped out in the car, walked straight up to my wife. And, and you know, everybody kind of got quiet, like, whoa, is she going to, you know, come at Pam? And then, uh, but all she told her was, 
that's my baby. Please take care of my baby. So and, I got she, and, and she left. So um, I I don't I I've never seen them butt heads. That's the good thing. I get involved in it. It's it's all me. I don't have my wife involved in that stuff. You know what I mean? That war, that beef, that war is our war, not you know right. what what's yeah. going on here. And, and I, I have to say, my ex wife has respect to that as well. I see a lot of people go wrong. They pull up to the new bitch wife or new girlfriend's house with the with uh or I'm sorry, they pull up to the ex with their new girlfriend, their new wife, causing mm-hmm. that drama. Yes. If it if it's within a certain period of time, you're going to have issues. You need to give it some time before mm-hmm. you start trying to implement this new person with the healing process. Person. Yeah, you can't just two months later, oh, we're here to pick up our son. <laughs> yeah. was, you call it your own problems then. <laughs> I've seen a lot of dudes do that, and it, it, it was nasty. Uh, you got to love that. Hey, 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 I want him to meet his new mommy. Come on out here, boy. <laughs> new mommy. What? But, but going, back to the Will, going back to the Will and Jada thing with the red tables, I was just reading the news this morning, and all of a sudden now, all of a sudden, the um, Will, Will Smith entanglement uh, rumors started coming up there, especially with um, apparently he was his co-star of Focus, um, Maggot Robbie. Apparently he had an entanglement with her. Well, that's the rumor. But all of a sudden now, that that's coming up. You know, so it's it, it's I'm I'm seeing a lot of those things starting to pop up now, and it, they were all, it does not matter. Like, matter exactly. I it, have a um, question: Does mm-hmm. anybody believe the long-standing rumor that the two of them are swingers? Yeah, they no. actually admitted that that was a rumor, but they actually said said that was a rumor. But I think that's true. I think Just that I, they I look at them and they to me they, they got an open right. relationship. Yeah, they low key get down like that anyway. So <laughs> I, I I don't believe it. I didn't get an invite, so <laughs> <laughs> they they got a weird uh, relationship. Call it. Yeah, they got a weird relationship. I'm, uh, the and only their thing kids that are even weird. <laughs> and the kids are weird. The, the one thing that bothers me is like she said, "I'm gonna take myself to the red table." She went to the red table, and Will was there. And, uh, you know, everything that she said, it just showed it was all about her. Right. And I didn't take, you know, today, I'm, before the show started, it just hit me like, you know what? That was really big of Will to come on the show with her. Because as a husband, you know, you can see it on his face. He was bothered. He was embarrassed, you know, because he knew about their entanglement. But she seemed to have no remorse, like, oh, well, fuck it. We're here. Where it's happening. We want to get paid for this show. You know, it's, you know, we weren't together. And Will said, he's like, yeah, we weren't together and all. But at the same time, we're back together. When you, you're supposed to make sure you clean up your mess. It should not affect us. Absolutely. It should not affect me. Absolutely. And that's right. That's right. I just, I just did not appreciate how she, how she represented women. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter mm-hmm. if you black women. Just how she represented women on that show, you know, it just looked bad, you know, as far as being married and going through trials and tribulations. Yeah, you were separated. You did your thing with this young boy. Um, and it came out. Uh, she waited too long. She should have addressed it immediately. You shouldn't have waited till you got to your platform where you can get views and money and get paid, you know, for it. You already have money, so you don't need the money. You should have addressed it immediately because you do have a husband. and over the last year, too, it seemed like they've been great. They've said they were great. Mm-hmm. And if she couldn't see the hurt and, and just the, the embarrassment on Will's face, she should have addressed it. She should have said, after all the conversation, she should have said, and I wanted to thank you, and I'm sorry, and kissed his ass a lot more. Than, mm-hmm. than what let, me, um, let me say something on that. It's, um, it's very unfortunate that when a man cheat, they don't get that kind of response. When a man go out and do what do do what she did, they don't get that kind of response. But it's like everybody want to nail her to the cross because and, of the way she did it and the way she put it out there. First, she denied she it. Didn't, wait a minute, excuse me. She, she did not. She didn't out deny there. it. Right. She, she did not put it out there. She never made a comment. Else. Don't, don't she let her people deny it. 
Exactly. She so, like, she said she did. They did, they did not. They don't um, have enough to tell over that. that. Right. right. So my thing is, I get it. I get what everybody's saying. But to be honest, it's their business and how they want to handle it and how they want to deal with it. Right. You know, everybody got something to say. And, and nobody, I, I haven't met anybody in the world that, that don't have dirt. If it was their business, business, they should have kept it their so, business instead of putting right, it out. And that's, the thing. But, and that's the bad thing about it. That's the issue that I have. If you're going to put it out there, now you need to object criticism. You should have kept that dirt because now Will, in my eyes, yes, some people say he, he's a strong man, but he looked like a clown on that t- on, on that show. He did. So Tearing up. But wait a minute. It was, his, it was his. It was his responsibility to say yes or no to come on there. He wanted to come on there to defend and stand by his wife. That's mm-hmm. Right. He was supporting his wife. He it all the time. We get embarrassed. We get dragged. We get all that, and we stand right there by our man. Who takes up for us when that happens? Nobody. Hold so on. We're not talking about is- y'all. We talking so about Will Smith. Is, no, but if you, you're on the other foot. Would she have given him that same support that she he probably gave her? Have. She probably no, would no. have. Yes, she would no. have. I do. You know the red table. I think she would have. I think no, she would have had him on the red table with her mother, Willow, and some other broke down, angry bitches, and they would have dogged no. this shit out of him. No, no, they wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. I don't think that. Um, I disagree with that. I don't think that she um she would have. But my thing is, their business is their business. The young man should have kept it to himself. Yeah, all these people have to be yeah. with that. Because oh, he he like, I wonder he years ago, the album out or something. Right, four years ago, this is not nothing new to them. That they woman, that older woman, woman, put it on. We'll get the um hold to it. So now we want to nail everybody to the cross. I don't yes. give a fuck what they do. They, they get into crazy. one entanglement. All of a sudden, exactly. she a bad person. One, right. Well, how do how do we know? It's, see, that's the thing. We don't know if it's just one entanglement. Well, if it's four entanglement, right? That's and then, then the SR one just said that now his stuff is coming out. Why you not yeah. jumping on that? Mr. Because, right. because or rumors, out. rumors. It's always been rumors until a woman come out and say what that young man said. <laughs> it's just we can always assume because that's what we always done with Will and Jada. We assume. So now we know right. Jada actually had a outside relationship, whether it was allowed or not. We know that for a fact because she had, she she went ahead and went on record. Will haven't said anything. Jada hasn't said anything, and none of his hoes have said anything. So we can't accuse. We can assume all we want, but Will is clean for right now. Right. But, well, you I but, put, like, but putting but Will and Jada, but then, let, but then let them deal with their issue and their problem. But they made it Will and Jada aside for a minute. Problem. If we put Will and Jada aside, listen. If we put Will and Jada aside for a minute, in 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 society now, when 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 a man cheats, I you know men's expected to cheat. They do that da 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 da. But when a woman cheats in society, she's a slut. She's a hoe. Why are you still with her? You know what I mean? And that's how it goes. It weighs more when a woman does it than versus a man doing. Men are expected to do it, I guess, but. when a woman and, does it, like, what the hell? What, what the fuck was she thinking? He a good time. man. He only had four women, but he a good man. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but exactly. it, it goes back to regular society, so you know what I mean? But um, yeah, and, and, and also, in a relationship context, right. when women cheat, we tend to cheat with men that we can easily replace the ones we're with. That's why men take it so hard in relationships when a woman cheats. Because nine times out of ten, when a woman cheats, we're looking to replace you. Dang. When a man cheats, he's not ne- he might he might not be necessarily looking to replace her. He's just trying to bust one off before right. he can come to his wife. And I understand that. But to I'm me, write some notes yeah. down. Uh, yeah. to, me, <laughs> to me, to me, replacement. I hold a man. <laughs> <laughs> a man and his cheat, and just as high as I hold a female in his cheating, it's no difference to me. I just right, right, it's right. no difference to me. It's a moral thing to me. And if a man, right. I don't care if a man want to go out and whatever, whatever, and a woman only cheats because you know she wants to replace. It's a moral thing. And if you don't want to have morals, y'all gonna do it whatever. So right. my thing, I hold my man, 
to the same standard that he's going to hold me to when right. it comes to that. So right, right. I'm really about, I'm kind of like tired of this double standard, women this, men this, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. Mm-hmm. Who actually, it's always a double standard. Yeah, but unfortunately that's There's how it's, a double it's standard there. Everything. Everything. It's, it's and everything. Every you want to, you're going to make excuses why you do what you do. Right. And then you have people that come down hard on one sex and be like, well, we expect a man to do it. No, I would expect the man to have more respect spirituality and all that because he don't want me going around hoeing and giving myself because that's bull hockey to me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i'm about to <laughs> <laughs> yeah you would disagree because i swear <laughs> you're a man on the side i swear you are he is. he's a sexist yes he is because i'm telling you he always checks down on women. He so always changing up. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a realist. No, I'm you're a realist. A, not no realist. No, no I'm not being I'm, realistic. I want to change it up a bit. I want, I want to, I want to discuss now. Moan, um, I want to say a couple of days ago, um, sent me a video. I don't know how many of you he sent it to in in, in your messenger of a cartoon the kids were looking on on YouTube. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, I'm gonna try to share it right now with you guys and tell me what you think of this. Wait, hang on, let's go. Share, boom. Can you guys see the screen? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, here oh, we go. You fancy. <laughs> you fancy, huh? <laughs> tell me what you guys hey, think. Hey, that's Ramon. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. Oh, oh, the hell? <laughs> really? Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, I know you lying. <laughs> he can't breathe. Right. Oh. You better bite him with them two teeth he got. He ain't got number two teeth. <laughs> oh, my. Jesus. He did. Oh. Yeah, uh, he, he did. He, you see the he's laid, laid out. He's laid out. He can't. He's passed out. And this is a kid's cartoon. What oh, the no hell? Sir. He did now. No, sir. Mm-mm. It's on YouTube. That's a hot mess. And then some. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not. That's not cute at all. Oh no 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 no. That so, is one cartoon show my children will never watch. No, exactly. And, and as they moan said it to me, and I swear I, I was I was I went to a bit of emotions. I was upset. I was mad. I was like, what the fuck? What what is this? I mean, I was pissed. I was I was like, you know, I said it to my wife. I was like, look, you gotta watch what these kids are watching. I said it to my sister. I said to almost everybody I know. Because we got a lot of kids. This is one of them shows that, that 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 kids are looking at all the time on YouTube. You never they got their little tablets. And this is the stuff that's coming out. This is the stuff these people are creating. I went right on this guy's page and reported it. Um, I mean it's 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 crazy what's out there. I mean <laughs> and it, they're exposing it to the kids. I mean, so it's one of them things where you gotta pay attention to you know what the kids yeah. are looking at on these tablets. You're thinking, okay, hey. They're just cartoons. No, look at these cartoons, no, man. No, it's not just cartoons. I, cartoons I, what, what got into you to make ago, this thing? Right. Cartoons 30, 40 years ago when we were growing up ain't cartoons today. Right. Yeah, right. It's it's not. <laughs> you I mean, know, that, that was, it was sickening. I looked at it and I was like, what the hell did I just look at? I mean, how, how as a kid, how does a kid grasp that how do they how do they take that in how do they respond to that how do they feel about it you know what i mean it's it's one of them things where it's like wow you know that this is the this is the world we live in now you know what i mean exactly. um mm-hmm. and, and and with covid19 and stuff like that kids are now forced to be on tablets and computers and laptops and doing stuff like that we as parents we have to monitor we have to monitor everything i'm Sometimes I hate being, you know, on, you know, watching stuff with my kids sometimes because I don't understand some of these cartoons. But 
it, right. it, it's one of them things, stuff like this, you know, slips through the cracks, man. You don't ever know. Because I think I looked at other shows that this guy created and they were fine. There were, you know, there was no issue with it. But all of a sudden it's like, whoa, you kind of snuck this one in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so was that a, um, did that, was that supposed to be like a statement piece? Like, what, what was that? This, uh, I have no clue. I have no that, clue what, why that, he would that. create it. I, yeah, th- th- it's crazy. It's right. YouTube, There's a graphic warning in the front of it. I actually added the graphic warning part in the front of the video. Um, but when Moan sent it to me, there's no graphic warning. It, it just, boom, it is in your face. It's just like, whoa, what the hell? You know what I mean? There's no warning. I added the warning just to, you know, so you yeah. guys could see it. What not, right. But, it, man, my, my sister's a school teacher and she was appalled. She was like, she's like, you know, her daughter's always on a tablet watching different little cartoons and stuff like that. You know, my, you know, my kids and, and, and their cousin, they share a lot of, Little cartoon stuff they watching, you know, Minecraft, this this stuff, that stuff. Mm-hmm. We gotta pay. We gotta keep up. I'm. It, it's another job for me now to keep up with the stuff they're looking at. You know what I mean? I don't want to restrict them, but at the same time, I gotta make sure they watching good quality entertainment. You know what I mean? They can watch this show. You know. So, but. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't watch this show. No. No. Well, not with that Ramon on here, and they can't. You gotta put up the morning for him. No, <laughs> you, you, might, you might get cut off you know, if the children watch cousin help. No, thank you. Yes. <laughs> but I was I was to Simone for, for sharing that, that, that with me. I was like, what the hell was that, man? Mona, you I was stunned for breakfast because I was watching it at breakfast and I'm like, what the hell? I couldn't get off the table. I I couldn't get off it for a while. I was like, what did I just look at? Right. It it was it was almost. It, how did you guys feel just watching the video? I mean, what did you expect it to go that way? I was appalled. Right. I was appalled. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it's not but everything that we're going through right now. And exactly. What are you raising? I, I would. I, Mike, I, Mike, Mike said, just I don't. Mike just don't it. give a shit. Mike don't give a shit. Mike, well, I found it entertaining. I was... Man, that was <laughs> not entertaining. That shit hurt me too much watching this shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's oh, how I felt. That was hurting my heart. Yeah. Did, I, you, um, did you see it, Mr. Little? What do you think about it? I, I saw it. Ramon might have sent it to me, but I get so many of those little video clips and stuff sent to me. I just click thanks and keep on moving. So I, don't, I probably didn't watch it. But here, it was disturbing. Um, yes. Right. Especially when right, they pulled it. Pull, pull the gun out, and um, yeah, that, that 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 that's tough, and um, for it to be out there like that, yeah, you know, for, exposed to the kids for the kids to look at, you know, no, no rating on it, no nothing. It was wow. It was just, it's so easy for them to get into or get, you know, acquire it. That's the crazy part. If somebody created that in an attempt to, I guess, educate children was, yeah, I didn't or, think it was, on the current true. state of things, then they did a horrible job of it. That, I, I think so. There's a better I, way to do right. that. In fact, maybe that person should call Dr. Jane Elliott. She might give them tips on how to educate children mm-hmm. on this current state of things. God, I love that woman. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I freaking love Dr. Jane Elliott, the most woke white woke white woman in America. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Nobody is more woke than that woman, and I just get fascinated with her. I just my dream is just to sit down and just talk to her one day. Literally, just talk to her. We should invite her on the show and just have a conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. You know, uh, if you take a look, I like, take a look at what's going on with the Washington Redskins. Well, y- you know, they're no longer going to be called the Washington Redskins. And I thought about it uh, as well as the uh, the little cartoon we just watched. It's as if they're they're trying to program my children, okay? And with the Washington Redskins, I thought about it, you know, and everybody's like, it's not a bad thing. It's Redskins who care, you know. It's been the Redskins for 50, 60 years. It's not a big deal. And I, and I thought about it. I never thought about it like this before. And I was like, damn, you know what? A lot of people are saying it's not a big deal. But that's just how they have programmed us through 
television shows. Like, we know that white people came over to uh, an unfound land and slaughtered the Indians, right? But when you watch TV, back in the day, the Cowboys and Indian shows, the Cowboys were always the good guys, the Indians were always the bad guys, and they somehow found a, a, a way to twist the story to make it seem like the Cowboys got to beat the Indians. And yeah. and the Indians would call them pale face, and they would call them, uh, I don't know, red skin. I, I ain't never heard them call them red skin in the movie. But right. we, all, we were always rooting against the Indians. We always wanted the Cowboys to win. Davy mm -hmm. Crockett. All of that shit, we always wanted them to win. And it was like they were just programming us to forget yeah. what they yep. did to the to the Native Americans. And it's just like with that cartoon. They're trying to program my children to have them believe, oh, this is this is this is normal. This is this is what happens. It's not a big deal. Right. Um, you know, laugh look 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 at him. Laugh is funny. They they're yelling at him, they're poking him in the face, he's not responding. And you know, you know, kids laugh at stuff like that if they don't understand or if you're not there to um, you know, educate them on the cartoon and how wrong it is. Um, mm -hmm. my daughter is eight years old and um they was um having a, a Bible study the other day and they was like, Well look, we want y'all to go outside and, and um get some chalk and draw on the ground, draw some signs like uh the world needs love and my daughter screamed out black lives matter she's eight years old so it's not like they're too young to understand if they're properly educated we have to guide our children better and, and lead them in the right direction because right now yeah in the world we live in they're living off of tablets definitely because that's how they got to go to school and they receive the information from their teachers and all that stuff and it's like it's going to be like that for a while so we got to make sure we 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 are protective of them over the uh you know the programs that are being uploaded downloaded and just just stay close to our babies because that's what they do they try to program us through cartoons mm -hmm. like you Absolutely. said mr tram back in the day the old cartoons the old cartoons when our parents was watching you got black face cartoons yes and, you know people are laughing at them and you know oh, oh it's cartoons but it's blackface exactly Exactly. You know, There's nothing funny about that. <laughs> no, no. Even as a kid, when I would watch cartoons, I understood what that was because I had parents and grandparents, you know, that taught me what that was all about. And I'm like, why would they put that in the cartoon? It, there was so much stuff we were exposed to as kids that we really didn't yeah. see as racist. You know, like any mini yeah. miny mo catch a nigga by his toe. Right. We never we never paid attention to it, but I like, we played around as kids, never realized catch a nigga by his toe. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's just a lot of different things that was you said there nigga, I and we, Well, no, that's how that, well that's how we learned it in, in school. It was yeah, I guess I grew up in Trinidad, and you in, in, I guess and that was European. So there's a right. lot of white, you know, white influence um, from there, and that was how we played it over there. But you never, I never, as a kid, I never. Oh wow! I'm saying the N word. I didn't. I didn't. It's only until recently I'm like, oh, we do right. say catch a nigga by it. So wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the, but there's a lot of other ones. I can't yeah. name them all. The ice cream song, the one that plays in, in, in on the ice cream truck. Apparently that's yeah. apparently that's that's a racist song yeah, as well. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, no, it, I... It's so many things that surround us and we don't pay pay you know pay attention to. My son is in the military, and, and right now, I mean, you know, his job, his mission is to guard monuments because people are pulling monuments down. That's his mission right now. They're, he's in Atlanta and Capitol Hill, and they, they guard in monuments so people don't destroy them. It, and it's, so that's his job. About, but how did he feel about that, though? It's about his job. He has to do what he has to do. He, he, in the military, you can't, you, you don't. Your, your personal feeling you try not to get your personal feelings involved there you're trained like that you know you you do your job your job comes first yeah whatever how you feel about it you discuss it later you know and that's I mean? why i would never um wanted to be in the military all right because i don't um, it's definitely not for everyone <laughs> right. it's like i couldn't i couldn't do that you can't you tell know. me I, you couldn't tell me to go guard something or go do something that i don't agree with Right, they would lock your ass up. That's just how hardcore the military. Yeah. You can have a different. I would never, I would never be. Up. 
Yeah, that was not nothing yeah. that I ever wanted to be, not a place that I ever wanted to be because yeah. mm-hmm. you um from the stories that I heard and everything, it's like and then you have some people that when they come out, they still um conditioned to that. You know, right. some people some people we know, right, Hillet, um, you know, they still could <laughs> like four or five or six years later and you'd be like, Sir, you know, you you've been out of the military you know, so I never in prison. How about that? Correctional officers. How about that too? All right. Yeah. So <laughs> that was something I never wanted to do. Yeah, the I whole mean, like I know from my experience. Um and the thing is, and I knew that going in, I didn't want to be a what they call a lifer. I knew that I wasn't gonna be in for like twenty years or so. Yep. But I realized that, you know, when the end of my first term or whatever my only term was coming up I was like I'm not I don't want to go through this for 20 years when your sleeves the heaviness of your sleeves or your collar determine how much say you get as far as wanting to be treated like a damn human being and I'm like okay just because I demand that you don't speak to me like that suddenly I'm being insubordinate exactly Mm -hmm. and I was like oh no I'm not going to go through this for 20 years I'm out Uh (laughs) <laughs> but if you said, if you, but if you said the same thing you said with a heavier sleeve, as you said, you'd have been yes, right. yeah, exactly. But yeah. because I'm a lowly airman, first class, you know, right. you know, I have to just stand there and take your abuse. So no, the fuck I don't. Yes, right. exactly. Right. Preach. <laughs> you know, in yes. my whole Air Force career, I got one Article 15 because I cussed out this captain from. Here to your code of Japan. I'm sure he and deserved I, And I did not feel bad about it either. I took I took that. <laughs> I'm like, you're not going to speak to me like that. I'm not a fucking nope. child. Exactly. <laughs> Straight but, cussed his ass out. <laughs> but you've been real quiet down there. See, I told a few supervisors I'm going to be talking like that. Talk to you like that. Right. That's why I'm wearing that now. Over there by myself. <laughs> <laughs> they won't put me by myself. <laughs> I don't like to be in civilization. Mm-mm-mm. So, Mike, like you've been watching us since um I don't know what episode, but what episode that really you know piqued your interest and you don't mind talking about or going over? If you was on the show, what would you say about that show that you um that you like? The one episode I do remember that I was the Pornhub episode. The was on there. Shahad Ali boyfriend, whatever his name is. Who? Who? I can't think of the dude's name. He dates Shahad Ali. I can't even say her name. <laughs> what show what the hell is Shahad Ali? What, what was the show about? Oh, shit, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, the guy that you put in there with the dreads, whatever his name is. Oh, 7 p.m.? Yeah, him. Oh, that was okay. interesting. Yeah. So, what did you like about the show? The one, the, the one where he disagreed with with Mom and yeah, myself he and with he <laughs> everybody. With all of y'all at one point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he said, "I agree." Well, I disagree with all of y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what topic but was that? Because I think we, I remember well, we were talking about racism. We were talking about when racism. When he put Lindsay in his place, that was the racism. <laughs> We were talking about race, racism. He was so good, we actually had him for another show. <laughs> he got Lizzie together. He was quiet the rest of the show. <laughs> Damn, Mo. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback. And the show y'all bought all the, you know, uh, the people about businesses, bringing them oh, together. Okay. Right, that was right. pretty cool. Yeah. They didn't know each other, but they felt they still <laughs> bond after you know after they meet met each other. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. It was like I help you, and you call me, and this, that, and other. Yeah, I think one of my favorite shows was the Mother's Day special. I think that was that was one of the, my favorite shows. All the ladies got the another Mother's Day, the Father's Day special. I, I want to say, yeah, the one with yeah. um. Uh, where, where, where Mac had all the females on there, and I was I hiding in the background. That yes, that was that was one of my favorites. I I, I really like the Mother's Day special. I, I'm well, sorry, to say, my she favorite. copied it from the Father's Day special from from the Mother's Day special, but it was the Father's Day special. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. You know what my favorite, uh, my favorite one is our first, first, first one, and nobody seen it. But, uh, yeah, I know, right? Where we sat in in the smoke room. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was our first it's one. On YouTube. It's it's on our YouTube channel, but 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 it's with all of us, and we're all squished together on one table <laughs> with a little tiny phone recording us. That was our first first show. And after that show, we were like, no, yo, we gotta make some changes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like the lighting was bad, the audio was bad. And we tried. We there, tried. Every way we had beer drinking and stuff like, oh my god, it was horrible. <laughs> Uh, it was a brown yeah. look it wasn't even the red table it was like a brown um unvarnished <laughs> table <Right>. <laughs> it was horrible yeah. and i think look i, I want to say um my other one of the other show that always stands out with me was i don't think mac was on that show I don't, i'm not sure if mac was on that show but i think it was me and moan and mm-hmm. it's where we had um the two um what is uh it was two authors on there and they were in, inspired by you know you know, their, you know um it was basically a christian type show and we're all trying to be all you know solemn and stuff and yeah there was not one show. not one cuss word went by right. in the whole entire show we started <laughs> no i was on that show i wasn't on this show i was gone yeah, out of right but, but remember we, we we couldn't say anything inappropriate it was like oh my god right. i don't know and i'm looking I'm, at I'm keeping my fingers crossed that Mo don't oh, say anything. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I know when to be good, man. I need to see that show. Yeah. It's one of the shows that probably nobody, we probably got like, how many views did we get on that show? I don't really remember, but we've been getting good views. Uh, uh, you know, and I want to say thanks for everybody for viewing. Yeah. <laughs> We're, We're really getting there slowly but surely. But uh, but thanks thanks a lot. We don't make any money from this. It's, it's all just us doing our thing, um, because we like to do it. You know, um, guess who I saw yesterday? Um, and you know, our, our fans don't know, and he's probably on or watching right now. But um, yesterday we went out to Gunpowder. I went out to Gunpowder, and while I was driving by, I saw a, our old director sitting under his little breezeway, and I said, you know what? Turned the car around, popped in the yard, and I pulled up. Hey, hey Don! <laughs> oh, oh wow. that. <laughs> yeah, he came out. We were chatting and stuff. He he said he said I got it. I give him the comment. He said my wife said I've never known Ramon to talk this much. I've always thought he was a quiet guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, that's what she said. But she said she enjoyed the show. She she she. He says that she enjoys the show. They watch it. You know. They watch the reruns of it, but she's on always watching our stuff. So shout out to Ms. Bindbeck. Thanks for giving us the, you yeah. know. Yeah. We appreciate you. We miss your husband. <laughs> That's what's up. That's yep. what's up. That's what's we got Mr. Potato Head running the show he now. He was one of the good ones. He was one of the good ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Um so uh before we forget that we were talking about Jada and Will. Oh Lord, let's go back oh. to that. Before we move on from that, Jada just did wrong. She did Will wrong. She didn't do him wrong. <laughs> question, question. So, um, I, I've never been like, I, we, my wife and I, we never had a pause in our relationship. We never taken a break. Uh, we we have, as far as I know, no entanglement unless some nigga he waiting to jump on Facebook Live and put her ass out. <laughs> um. <laughs> How do you, I mean, as 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 a as a man or woman, how do you think they felt going home? Oh, they not even going home, but after the show, after the show, because when she dropped the word entanglement, it, that was a new word for Will. He he's never heard that word before. That was a new word for the whole world. Will said a word, and, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and and he's now in a whole lot of memes. You know, she's in a whole <laughs> lot of memes. Um. <laughs> But, you know, you still got to go home and got to have dinner. Even though this is something that happened four or five years ago, this is still, this is brand new now. So this opened up new old wounds and this creates new wounds. Mark Little, Mark Little, my man. <laughs> How should Will carry this going forward? Truthfully? Truthfully. In, in my opinion, uh, they need definitely separate and figure it out because 
she dropped the bomb and you you heard out there now 50s making making fun and will blew up at him putting some right. into, i mean it just will now looks like an embarrassment to his whole community he was always the fun fun guy fun rapper but now he's more like the everything that he's done successfully is behind him now and it's like, only it's like what are you doing him. bro it's it's this yeah Jada. it's almost like dude yeah. what are you going to do what, what are you doing bro you know what i mean is that that's the question you, you like yeah. you want to ask him like what are you doing bro <laughs> yeah it just do? It, it it's it's just a bad look for him right now right i mean hollywood but, might I mean, still love him. who knows but right now anybody out there he lost i want to say he lost his street crew being put on tv like that and embarrassed and i don't care about he cried or teared up because no matter who you are a man's gonna tear up at some point for some mm -hmm. specific reason but Absolutely. the way it was done in the public eye it, it, it's kind of yeah it, it's gonna he needs to try to figure a way to recover from that and i think they need to step back and figure really figure it out i agree with mark um because uh, it's all about trust. And I feel like somewhere down the line, they're going to have issues with trust, no matter how much they try to Cover make the world yeah. believe that they 100% trust each other. There's all the trust is always going to be questionable now. Yeah. I think my, 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 my take on it is that, um, now that it's out in the public it's a it's it, it's a different um animal um mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. four years ago i think they already kind of dealt with it four years ago privately okay. you know okay. what i mean so okay. now the hurt for us it's like whoa hey right. what the mm -hmm. hell some of us are hurt about it you know depending on how much you know, like will and jada um but but remember four years ago they already dealt with this four years ago yeah. so they've been through a lot of little healing and all that stuff mm -hmm. so I don't know. The will you see now is probably somebody who probably already boohooed about it way back then. They've probably been through counseling. Who knows? They've been keeping it kind of quiet. You know what I mean? But it's um for us, it's brand new. For them, right. that was four years ago. You know, so it's there's yeah, a, and, and, and a lot I of think healing that even then, And I think that even then, even though they might have dealt with it way back when, I bet you every now and again he might still get for that little side eye like I'm watching you. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's oh. not gonna go away. It's not gonna go yeah. away. There's always gonna be some type of trigger. Yeah. There, there's always a trigger. There's always a trigger. I remember with my ex-wife when my ex-wife, you know, cheated. Yeah, a couple yeah. times. Um, <laughs> You ran out of fingers. Yeah, yeah, I ran out of fingers. There was a couple. Yeah, there was a couple. I mean, oh, but no. I had. I had triggers. It was it was it was a lot of things that would trigger my emotion. And one thing I had to learn to do, you know, during that time was not throw it back into her face. You know, you know, there's a lot of times you don't throw it back in their face. For the healing to happen, you say a lot of crap in your head. Uh, and and I I mean I had to get almost yelled at by somebody else, like, yo, dude, stop. You can't she's here now, she's trying to work it out. You gotta stop, you know, because right. oh, no. every time mm -hmm. But she's, it was so it was so many tiny things <laughs> that triggered it. You know what I mean? If you keep going back there, you'll never move forward. Yeah. Exactly. It was, if you want to move always, forward, uh, my grandmother always said, if you if you decide to go back to a relationship that's something like that, you have to be prepared for whatever it's going to be. You got to right. be you have to be patient with the person that did it, and mm. you got to forgive yourself and heal yourself. If you're not ready to um deal with it because you think you're going to have these triggers then you should not go you back. might as well get out you might as well right. get out like my grandmother said don't go look for something if you're not prepared to deal with it absolutely right. so the thing about it is sometimes we get in these um situations and then like you were saying you know every little thing triggered you know you had to have somebody else tell you like hey you know you decided to come back to this so you right, have right. to exactly you have to and if you want to move forward you got to deal with it right. Right. So I you have to, you have to be very mature to in that situation. And a lot of people are not mature to go back to somebody 
that did something like that to them. And the piggyback on what y'all were saying, we have to remember all this is fresh to um, the viewers. Mm -hmm. Bill and Jada had already dealt with that. And even to me, it was like he was still dealing with something. So maybe he should take time and um, oh, right, 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 and, and, and think it over. right, because um, whatever he's dealing with. But I think the initial shock and pain and everything, he already dealt with that. You know, mm -hmm. we're just dealing with it. Not me, because I, mm -hmm. I when I say I don't care, because they're not looking face. That look in his face. That he might have dealt with it then, but that look in his face. Yeah. But it, it spoke numbers. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's the trust. It's the trust, you know. It's he's saying, you know. But I wouldn't even come on. If, in a long if time I felt ago. like that, I wouldn't even come on the show. If I right. felt like I still could not handle it, I'm not going to give anybody no pleasure to come on the show and say anything. She could have took herself to the table and had somebody else interview her. Interview herself. I wouldn't have been there. You know, so he, made, he made that decision to sit across from her and have that conversation. I think at the end of the day, even if she went by herself, people would have wanted to know, well, what is Will saying about it? What is his take on it? You know, yeah. so I think that was their way. Of, right. I think that was their way of, a, of knocking it all out at once and trying to move forward from it. I think that's what's going on. Right. Um, and now I think August has beef with, with, with Kiki Palmer right now. He's beefing with her. So. <laughs> that's Kiki. Oh, why he beefing with little Kiki? <laughs> I don't know. I think I think he, like I just, that one, Paul, Paul August he is trying to stay relevant him. somehow. Mm. Hey, so, so Mr. Taser, we didn't talk about the man side, Will side. How 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 do you think Jada is going to carry it going forward um, in her marriage with Will? How I think Jada going to carry it? I don't know Jada. <laughs> but <laughs> I feel as though. She's so funny. I like her. Oh, my God. <laughs> they, I like, like Mr. Little said, they do really need to, they need to sit and have a conversation out of the public eye yes, because right. everybody got their own views on what they think Will should do they got their own views on what Jada should do I mean if I was Jada I probably would have gotten into an entanglement with August too so <laughs> I don't know <laughs> <laughs> you probably got entanglement with a lot of people if you was Jada no I Jada. probably would have gotten into an <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. I personally would have went for Jason Momoa myself, you know. Woo! Lisa, Lisa Momoa wasn't having it. Yep, yeah, she just would have had to deal with that. I'd have <laughs> to tie her up, and I'd have yeah, been Lisa like, Lisa Momoa wasn't Lisa. having that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Lisa. <laughs> you just have to understand some shit, Lisa. <laughs> Look, right. Oh, like, <laughs> so when you look at Will, when you look at Will and what he's accomplished, his stature, and then you look at this youngin, she cheated down. She didn't cheat up. She he she cheated down. And the sense right. of stature. I mean, we're she not did. ugly, but he not August. <laughs> hey, Will Smith. What the hell? Will is I love you, Hiller. <laughs> when you say when you say Will, Will look, Will Smith, and I believe she probably didn't go forward with this young man because. Will is a provider outside of he, you know, right. good husband, good father, um, you know, funny. He's a great provider, especially on their level. Okay. Especially from where he came from, because he was bankrupt and wound up bouncing back and doing what he did and still doing. August is still trying to find himself. I mm -hmm. believe that Jada, Jada got with this young man because he was wrecking that uterus, tearing it up. That's know, all it is. Yeah, that's that's it. That's I it. So she did. It. She cheated. She did it because she, she wanted to. Right. She, she did it. But now, I mean, but now folks are saying because uh, he has a sort of mental thing going on, and they kind of feel like she sort of preyed on him, like it was a no predatory but, thing. I, I mean, people are also it. saying that also, and they were also saying that. I don't was, get he that. Kind of ill. They they said he was yeah. sick, so it could have it could have been a pity, you know, pity sex. I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god. Before, yeah, it's got it. Before you know, Oh my goodness, Lord have mercy. Probably a pity section. You never know. 
She had pity on him for four years. I feel sorry for you. This is because I feel sorry for you. I just want to feel sorry for me too. What you think, Mike? Jada could feel sorry for me too. I don't give a. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you she could. Oh my god. But um, I just think that it's it's a serious um situation, and a lot of us deal with that stuff. A lot of us go through um our significant other doing stuff like that, and then we have to deal with it. So um, yeah, I just feel you know I just pray that they deal with it and um overcome it, whether they stay together or not. That's between them. Um, everybody else, it's just our opinion. It's what we think. Yep. You know, we're not, yep. not going to yep. do nothing in that relationship because they're going to do what they want to do. We can have all the opinion in the world. Right. I'm going to find. I'm going to find a way to make a difference. I'm going to find a way to make a difference. I'm going to tell you. Give me that. Give me that recipe. Let me know what you're doing. I'm going to find a way. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm going to tell you. Share. Tell you. Share. <laughs> we 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 need to uplift more uh more married people that's doing it the right way. And I don't care what anybody yep. thinks. If it, well, what's the right way? You got. Angela Bassett and Courtney B. Vance. You got oh, Denzel Washington yeah. and his wife. You got Samuel L. Absolutely. Jackson and his wife. You got Spike mm-hmm. Lee and his wife. Uh, I mean, you got so many couples out here doing it right. And Doogie Howser and his wife. Who? Oh, wait. Never Doogie Howser. No, you got to have Angela Oh, I thought he said Doogie You know. It's unfortunate that a relationship like this get highlighted. Did you say, Mike? I was about to say, Diddy Holler don't have a wife. He might have a husband. Oh, he do. He He do. do. You got a husband. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Mo, we got about five minutes. So, five minutes. All right, so let's go with here. We're going to take this time. For everybody, if you got anything going on that you want to share with people, Mike, you will be last because I already know. What you gonna say? So I'm talking to my man. Let me, let me, I'm talking my man, Mr. Mark Little, brother. What you got going? on? Let people know that you are a magnificent photographer. This man came out and hooked my daughter's prom up. It was a wonderful time. Oh wow! Tell them a little something about yourself, brother. Um, told you already that I'm in school, trying to get my bachelor's, trying to finish that up. By next summer, I should be walking across the stage with my bachelor's and continuing hey. my master's. Um, I do photography, like Ramon says. I'm always looking for people to practice on. Um, I love taking pictures. Also, I'm a construction project manager uh, for the government, so I'm doing a lot of things that I love to do. Um, I got a great family. I have great friends. I mean... Right now, I'm totally blessed, and, and I enjoy it. Um, and I just love to laugh and make jokes all day long. So that's the only thing I really got going on. Miss Shatasia, what do you have going on in your life that you can share with us? Nothing. All I do is work all day. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing else going on. <laughs> I'm just trying to fake it till I make it. You say you gotta fake it till you make it. You gotta fake it till I make it. Miss mm. Betrayed, how you doing, baby? What's going on in your life? What's going on? Well, I don't have like any businesses or anything like that, but um, and I was actually talking to another friend um about this um for the last year or so. I've always been fascinated with the art of sign language. So I've been teaching myself or teaching myself how to sign. Wow. Um, okay. <laughs> and, um, and I've always, I, I had an incident of some years back where um, there was a customer that came into the store I worked at and the customer couldn't hear. And for some reason, I just felt so bad that I couldn't communicate with this customer. And I was like, how cool would it be to sign language? I mean, people talk about, learning spoken foreign languages all the time but no one ever really talks about learning how to sign yeah so i've been teaching myself and worked out pretty good (laughs) you know what Uh, salute to you that's that's what's up that is really what's up yeah Mm -hmm. i've always been curious of like how they sign during you know romantic talking just before you have sex and stuff like that you know 
Oh, 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 it's like this, this. This is all you need. This is all you need, Gator. <laughs> no, so you want to no. You. That's all you do need. This. Listen, mm -hmm. do this. This actually means horny. Oh wow! A horn, like almost a little horny. I could have swore I saw the yeah. Shatasia doing that a little while ago. You don't even think that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could have yeah, saw Heather doing that a little while ago. You know. <laughs> so something with the thigh that I found very interesting. <laughs> Um, I was talking to somebody and I was ignorant and he enlightened me. Um, there's different language in sign and wow. I thought it was yeah. one universal sign language, but mm -hmm. now he's like, yeah, he's learning three different sign languages that are yeah, it's whatever. Because the there's the ASO, the American standard, and then there are two others. I don't remember. Yeah. So oh, there's wow. like slang, slang and, in, 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 in <laughs> like, like, I guess like Spanish, you know, you got Spanglish and you got Spanglish. And then yeah. you know, there's different levels of Spanish. I guess it's the same thing. So it's pretty cool. Uh, right? That's awesome. You're teaching yourself. We, we don't sign like that over here in Mexico, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 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 Mike. What you got going on, Mike? Yeah, what's in the oven? Ain't nothing huh? in the oven. I don't have anything going on. <laughs> you know what you want me to say? You want to make something up? Yeah, my yeah. Okay. <laughs> what you got, yeah. What you got going on? You done binge watch everything on Pornhub. I can't tell you. Do you, you have a website for your for your business, like for your baking? Do you have a um, website? She's talking to me. Yeah, yeah she's talking to me. <laughs> no, I don't have a website. You just what's these cupcakes I keep hearing about? There you go. Um, I've been making cakes and cupcakes for our Christmas parties for the last few years. Everybody seemed to like them, even though they're like Christmas party? Yeah. So people ask me to bake them. If I bake them for their birthday, I'll give them to them for free because that's my gift to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was asking, I was asking just because I'm a fat ass and I like food. So when people <laughs> talk about food, you know, that interests me. Mine yeah. in November. <laughs> November the one, just let me might know. Not, and I'll, might not be here, but mine in November. Well, uh, if you let me know, if you can find a way to get them, I'll make them. Mm -hmm. And they're delicious. I, I've had a couple of his cupcakes. They're delicious. He, he makes the best cupcakes. And people keep asking me, what's the secret recipe? And I can't tell them. Of course not. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. And food. if you do, make them pay you for it. <laughs> all right. You make all kinds? Whatever you want, I can pretty much do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a connoisseur. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Miss Savvy E, what you got going on, sweetie? Hey, how y'all doing? I want to thank everybody tonight that um view and the viewers that's on tonight. So of course I still have my show coming up. Um November the 14th. It's called Fashion Statement to Savvy's House. And me and my team was talking um the other day and we think we're gonna do a virtual um virtual um show so i'm looking forward to how that's going to come out and you know mr mike little um i had I do a lot of mark, i'm sorry mr mark little um i do a lot of fashion shows so i might want to call you i do a lot of fashion shows we do a lot of photo shoots because i deal with a lot of models that would be a great collaboration i'm always looking for somebody to um to do photo I do appreciate you, really like um, i said I practice it don't matter. I'm I'm good with that. You know, that's what that's one. Uh oh, uh oh. Time to wrap. Oh, Mark, you got her phone. She's in broke. Oh no. She's in broke her phone. Broke her phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did she got? Her so excited. What happened, Savvy? You got this on it, Savvy. <laughs> Oh my, okay. I'm sorry. My, um, my thing went down. So I was saying that people don't understand that my, um, my brand is basically is to give a platform to everybody, whether you're a photographer, whether you're in fashion, whether you're an artist, whether you're a vendor, that is what I do. That is my whole brand. Um, that's what my whole brand is about. 
I just love to put on shows. So that's what I do. I put on shows mm-hmm. so people can see what I do. Um, so people can hire me for to put on a show or to um, to do a party or anything like that. So I do have two shows that's coming up um, real soon. Um, hopefully they don't get pushed back because of what we're going through. And um, also just looking forward to what we got going on in the future. Um, you know, we got our 20th episode coming up. And I can't, you know, we're planning that and I can't wait for that. Um, and um, I have a new artist. Nice, you know, shout out to my new artist. So I'm, I'm just doing a lot right now. Um, and I'm about to interview two artists um, for our show. So I have a lot um, going on. So you can, um, if you want to hire me for um, your event, you can um, hit me at Savvy Events 1987 on IG. And Savalia Macintosh on Facebook. I have two Facebook pages, so whatever one. Awesome. Mr. Mr. PRS1, what's going on? Well, not much. I mean, I'm here. This is my little studio here, Trinity Spice FM. Um, those of you who haven't heard of Trinity Spice FM, it's a Caribbean online radio uh, <laughs> online radio station, and we play a lot of Caribbean music, not just Caribbean music. We play a you know, different genres as well, but it's mostly Caribbean. Um, I don't sound like this when I'm on the station, so if you do jump on there, you might hear me yelling and a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Um, a lot of people said I should use my radio voice on here, but no, this is me talking. This is the, my normal voice. Um, um, Trini Spice FM, we're available. We, you know, we got our, 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 you can download the app. It's available on iOS and Android platforms. Um, just look up Trini Spice FM. Um, we're also available on your Alexa skill store. Um, you can just enable Trini Spice FM in your Alexa skill store and just ask her to enable Trini Spice FM and we it comes right on. It starts to play. Um, in terms of this, um, I've did a couple. I'll be doing, a, um, I think, either tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. I don't think I'll do it tonight. I was trying to I was thinking about doing it after the show, but I don't think I will. But I'll do it tomorrow. There's going to be a live stream. I'll do a live stream on how I uh, syndicate a show. Syndicating a, a, a show is usually when you hear it on the radio and you hear this, the person talking behind it, but they're not really there. So I'll syndicate a show live on Facebook tomorrow, and you'll see me do the whole show for about an hour. And then um, after that, I'll upload it to the station and you know aired at a certain time that's what we call syndicating the show so Mm -hmm. a lot of times you'll hear me on there because i'm working i can't always be on the station so i'll syndicate a couple shows and put it up there when i do go live i'll try to go live on facebook and you guys could probably see that um other than that i'm looking forward to good vibes tv i'm looking for forward to our 20 episode and all that 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 little event and all that stuff we're gonna have in store um i love what we do here we're also looking for a space um, that, you know, for Good Vibes TV, looking for a space. And as soon as we get that space set up, anybody that's out there that needs, um, you know, studio, studio time, studio location, stuff like that, you know, come see us, you know, for a small fee, we get you set up. Um, other than that, Ramon, you can shut it down to let us know about your book. Uh, so, hey, look, uh, look out for Why Good, Why Good Men Hate Women. That's my book. It's a good book. It's not as bad as some people think it's going to be. I'm not slamming women, but it's it's a really good book. So you'll be able to see. Check, trust and believe it'll be all over. <laughs> I'm going to need you to tell me the story of how you came up with that title, Ramon. I'm yes. I, well, I, 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 will. I, will. I will. I will tell you that story uh, one day real soon. So are you um, adding a new chapter since the Will Smith red table thing? No. Okay. <laughs> I, sh- I, I should, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Entanglement. That. Do that. that chapter that. would be called entanglement. I'm not. No, going no, no, no. That. that sounds. That actually sounds like a Tyler Perry movie, and he's probably oh, wow. already written right, a script right, for that. Right. Don't, don't give Don't give Tyler no ideas. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm, uh, but uh, yeah, my sons and I, we we're starting our own clothing line. Um, and just really excited about the good vibes we'll be doing here. 19th episode going into our 20th, really excited about that, and um, even more excited uh, for that period of time that we'll be um, getting ready for the second season and uh, this all that we want to do with that. Um, oh uh, man, so I want to say this too people out here, 
continue to practice safe distancing. Continue to wash your hands and yeah. wear a mask. It is it, serious. I know it's spiking all over the country. That's because they're testing more. But at the same time, you got a lot of people out here just being real reckless. Just because you're going to a family event with your aunts, your uncles, and your cousins, it does yep. not make it okay to not That's right. wear yes, a mask. Yes, Tasia. That's right. She, she already it does, yeah, it's it, it ridiculous. So it's interesting that you said that because, um, you know, that, 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 that's, I know this is going to probably add a little bit of time, but I have a quick story. Um, I had to teach my boys how to answer people when they wore their mask. So, it, you know, we, we, we went out one time and the boys had their mask on and the person, yeah, one of the people, I'm, I'm not going to say any names, but whoever was like, why you got your mask on? What, you know, they were taking offense, like, like, I don't have it. So why you have your mask on? And um, you know, basically, my my reply was, I work closely with a lot of COVID patients, you know, and I don't want, you know, in case I'm asymptomatic, I don't want you to be exposed to nothing. And that's right. when they took a step back and was like, oh, because they, first of all, they thought I was protecting myself from catching something from them. So I've started, pe people respond differently when you tell them, you know, like that. And, and, and. I've t actually taught my boys, you know, when they wear their mask and stuff like that. I say, like, when you're wearing your mask and stuff, when people ask you why you're wearing your mask, say, my dad works so closely with COVID patients, and we may be sim asymptomatic, so uh, we don't. I don't want to spread anything to you, and that's and that way people take it a whole different. They they're a lot more comfortable. But that person, I mean, when they came at me, they came at me like. Hey, hey, we cool. Why, why you got your mask on? Like, I, you, you could breathe around me. You know what I mean? And, no, I can't actually, and I don't exactly, want you to breathe around exactly. me. Exactly, exactly. Right. Yeah, I don't know why people think that. Right. I know, I know, I know. But, but they were offended. They were really offended. I had my mask on, but when I explained it that way, it instantly it was gone. That and that 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 was totally gone. And I was like, oh, you know what? I should teach the boys to 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 you know basically respond in that way, so that way. People won't get you know offended. He's they won't be any telling them to mind their business. They're supposed to wear masks. That's why I went. I get tired of wearing my mask because oh, I keep and, my breath. And I want to say something real quick. The United States is going to need a new Florida because the whole Florida is about to die because they all got COVID in Florida, what? and the entire Florida is going to die. They're going to need a new Florida. Where's I think wall? that's a little dramatic. I think that's where that wall is supposed to go. <laughs> Remember that wall? That, I think that's where that wall's supposed to be. That's Black Florida. Yeah, it's Florida. <laughs> you killed the whole state. Yeah, the whole Florida. Right. They cut die. it all off. They float away. Going to die. <laughs> nope. Going to die. Go, um, so nobody go to Florida and nobody from Florida back come here. Nope. Right. Ramon. <laughs> yeah. Can you um let people know what we um we, we have planned for this summer? Are we off air? Well, while we're off air, we're one, two, Lord have mercy, Shatasia. We're going to um, we're working on our billboard. Yeah, mute, mute her, mute her. We're working on our um, our billboard that we're going to have up. Uh, the bill, it's going to be real slick because it's not just going to be here in uh Baltimore. It's actually going to be across the country. I forget how many um cities and states he said, but that's pretty cool. We're also going to do a photo shoot. Um. Uh, we're also outside of just looking for a place for good vibes so we can have a, our own little studio. We're also um, looking to see if anybody's interested in um, having their own show, their own podcast, and you can come and work in our studio, and uh, we'll show you how uh, how we do it so that you can do it and um, all that good stuff. Um, am out. I missing anything else? The cookout. The fundraiser. Is it free? The fundraiser. Oh, oh, no, it won't be free. We're also doing a fundraiser. We're going to get with Northwood baseball rec, Mr. Mike Martin, the president. And um, we're going to be out there and, and uh, we're just going to have a good time and raise money um, for, for Northwood, for the kids, the community, in that community. They're not getting any help. Northwood has been around for over 50 years. And um, our city has ceased uh, in helping them the last five or six years. They used to give them money every year to start mm -hmm. the season. And uh, Jack Young do not do that anymore. I guess he's busy, oh. you know getting smart with reporters so um <laughs> no way he ain't gonna be in that long this this because jack a thug jack a thug he a real thug that's what he is <laughs> jack a thug. 
<laughs> You're a real thug. <laughs> so we're going to be doing that. I'm looking forward to doing that, and hopefully we can do something um, with um, the kids going back to school if they go back to school and if they need supplies. Well, I'm sure, quite sure that um, you know people are going to need some help. So uh, hopefully we can do something for them as well. Do we buy pajamas so, or regular clothes for school? You ain't, you I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. But I want to yeah. thank everybody for tuning in for the nineteenth episode. My wife, my wife has a dollar store, so if you need uniforms or pajamas, she sells them. <laughs> awful, awful. And, and, and you probably already go to that uh, uniform store. Um, but thank you much, so much love and respect for everybody who support us, Mike. Yeah. Mr. Trans, Shatasia, mm -hmm. Mr. Little, Mr. thank you for Little. coming on this week uh, and being a part of this show. Um, please continue to support us. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys for the 20th episode. GBTV, mm -hmm. we out. We out. I want to send a shout out to So Lovely for these shirts. Shout out to the Wizards. Hey, friends. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. No problem, Mike. GBTV, we out.